If you ever wanted to throw your computer out the window because your site wasn't working, you're not alone. A statistic created entirely by me suggests that 99% of all web developers suffer from JavaScript mania. Today, we will explore some of these edge cases in JavaScript so that hopefully you'll better understand what is going on in the future. First up, we have loose coercion. If you've ever used double equal sign in JavaScript and got some weird results, this is why. For example, if you do zero equal to a zero string, it results in true being returned. Similarly, zero equal to an array also results in true being returned. This is all because during the coercion process, an empty array and the number zero both get converted into an empty string. However, if you do zero equal to an empty array, it's not true because an empty string does not equal zero as a string. To avoid this completely, make sure to use the triple equal sign, which will make sure that JavaScript does not do weird conversions under the hood and checks the types directly, leading to correct statements. Next up, we have null. You'd expect type of null to return null, but this is JavaScript, remember? It has to return an object instead. This is an actual inconsistency in the language itself. However, you should never actually check for a type of null since null is a primitive in itself. So just try to avoid doing this overall. We also have a statement of nan equal to nan returning false, which is weird. This is actually part of the JavaScript spec this time, which suggests that nan should only be used as an intermediate value. Therefore, if you're checking if a number is nan, you should use the number.isNan function instead to guarantee correct results. This sums up this week's JavaScript mania. I will see you in the next one.